sometimes it happens to me that I realize that I have all these bits and pieces and different craft supplies that I have gathered and hoarded over time and then I realize that I can use them for a project so that's what I'm gonna do now I have had this stick that I just you know picked up outside once and thought that I could use it for something I have also made way back when these macrame feathers I really like this gray one oh, so pretty the black one is missing a piece so I probably won't be using this the yellow one I think works in addition to the oh stick away sorry then I also have some extra thread I have this brown one and just white but the idea is to use the stick and then to hang these feathers and for the hanging I'm gonna use this transparent sewing thread it reminds me it's almost like fishing line I also have an empty wall that definitely needs something. Hopefully after I have combined all of these, made a couple of extra feathers, I will have myself a macrame feather wall hanging piece. To start making the macrame feather, first you're gonna cut the middle piece. Uh, I didn't measure this. But I'm gonna guess it was something like 30 35 centimeters long. Then you're gonna fold it in half and make a knot on the one end, leaving the tails free so that you get this loop. The loop is gonna come in handy later. Next, you need to cut a bunch of yarn strips. Um, mine were about 17 centimeters long. You can cut them like this, like I'm doing here, one by one, but it'll take a long time because you need to cut quite many of them. So instead, to speed up the process, I had this square box that was 13 centimeters times five-ish centimeters and then I just wrapped my thread my yarn around the box to make multiple yarn pieces way quicker to attach these pieces and to, to form the actual feather is you need two pieces of the yarn you have you're gonna fold it in half and place it under the middle thread and the other one you fold it and kind of put it pointing the other direction on the yarn make the open ends kind of go through the loop of the other one and create creating this knot type of thing it's a bit confusing to explain to see it it's easier than it sounds
so there will be these visible knots on the front of the feather to make sure they're not on just one side every other row when you start at the bottom yarns open ends point to the right and then every other row start that they point to the left instead and then continue like this till the end the length I ended up doing was about 6-ish centimeters, but it really depends on the, the yarn that is used. When I get to the end, I kind of brush these tentacles, I don't know how to call them, down to see if I still need more. Here I was kind of missing a bit, so then I just added a couple of iterations more. And to finish it off, make another knot at the end and make it tight so that was the easy and fast portion of this feather making now comes the most tedious part which is to comb open all these tentacles to make it all feathery looking it depends on the yarn some yarn threads they sort of open up more easily this thread that I was using here, this brown one, uh, it was a very bendy and twisty, so it was took me some time to get it to open. But what I did is just individually separate the thread and then use a comb to brush it out. I also used some water every now and then to get the thread to straighten out. And then I tied my transparent thread into the loop so I can hang these feathers on the stick. And it looks like I'm doing some kind of weird mime show here, but uh, I have the thread there and I'm just desperately trying to knot it in place. It kept disappearing from time to time. <laughs>
if we look past the ugly hanging hook uh, this is what it looks like when it's hanging and in case you didn't yet guess this white and this brown is the same that I used for this vest so this is a good project to do when you have something like leftover you have crocheted or knitted something and then you have just a tiny bit left so yeah thank you for watching bye